Hey guys, welcome to Pattern Lab. Okay, we have a brand new feature on our site and it's going to call, well, we're calling it Customer Question Time. So we get a few emails about some of our products and basically um, just ask a few different questions. And we're going to start things off with Mina, who has asked us a question about, um, let's say when it comes to dart manipulation and also our waistline being slightly, let's say, not horizontal or not 90 degrees to the actual center front and center back. So let's just address this. So first of all, hi. I recently created a download a thigh length based torso from your wonderful service, but something seems to not be right with the piece. When I move close, the chest dart, the chest line is broken and not straight, plus waistline and bottom are not 90 degrees to center front. I have attached an image of the pattern as it is with the chest dart moved. Okay, so let's take a look at this in detail. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our bust point and this is our dart. So when Mina is closing, uh, let me just get this a little bit larger. So when Mina is basically doing a dart rotation to open up the dart on the, um, let's say, the mid neckline here, you can see that this line here is slightly broken. Well, the problem with this is, well, it's not actually a problem, it's all about the way that she's doing the dart manipulation. So essentially, this little red dot here is actually the bust point. So this is the bust point just here. So essentially, when she actually closes her dart, she's closing it here which is basically not the rotation point. So if you want to do a dart manipulation, we have to do it in a slightly different way. So let's just go on to this block here, for example. And what I'm going to do is, instead of, so this is, let me just, um, let me just recreate what she's doing. Okay, so let's take this panel here. And I'm doing this in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to simply rotate this dart closed. And as you can see, we have that issue. You see how this line here is essentially, we have two different bus lines. The reason why is because the manipulation should be done from the bus point. We actually use a little bit of ease here to move those dart legs or dart points away from the bus. This gives a little bit of smoothing over the bus line. So if you want to do the dart manipulation correctly, what you need to do is, uh, we're going to move this dart. Oops, hang on, let's just join that. Join. I'm simply going to move this dart back to the bus point, because this is essentially where we should be rotating from. I'm then going to cut exactly where she cut before. I'm then going to take this piece here. Let's just consolidate that and consolidate the other panel piece. Let's just take this piece, rotate it around the actual bus point, which is where the dart should be rotated. Let's just close that dart and then join. And as you can see, our bus line is correct, and also our, let's say, dart to the bus point is correct as well. So let's just go back and redo that very quickly. Okay, so what we do is we simply, we move this dart position, sorry, so this is existing dart position. We move it to the actual bus point. We then slice the block, and then we simply rotate it down. And there we have our new let's say, dart manipulation with the correct bus line and also the correct dart point. And if you want to, to create a bit more smoothing, you can also just remove or move this up by about 2.5. Let's not copy it, actually. Let's just actually move it. Okay, and there you go. And this works with pretty much any dart manipulation. But it always has to be done from that bus point. So let's say we wanted to go for, let's say, about here. What we'd do is, once again, we would simply move this to the bus dart, sorry, to the actual bus point. We would then snip this panel out. Let's just join this block. There we go. And then when we do our dart rotation, we're going to pull this down. Once again, the chest line is perfectly in alignment and our bus point. And once again, we can also do a 2.5 cm move this back by 2.5 cm and to do that we're going to draw a line here we're then going to draw a line from the bus point to halfway okay just there and then what we do is we want to move so let's get our circle tool just to create a point and then let's just go minus 2.5 copy we're then going to rotate around that bus point until we meet the center of that line and then we're just going to move that dart back and there we have our, let's say, uh, mid-lower armhole dart. 
Okay, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so now let's move on to the second question, which is all about the idea here where we have, if you, you see, this is not actually 90 degrees to the waistline of the centre front. The, wa the waistline is not 90 degrees to the centre front. And the reason for this is because we actually have bust expansion formulas um, automatically drafted into our block. So regardless of whether you're a size B, cup, or C, or D, or E, or F, or whatever, um, we actually cater for that automatically. And we do that using the bust measurement and the SNP to waist measurement on the front and the SNP to waist measurement on the back. Uh, so essentially, if your SNP to back measurement, uh, sorry, SNP to waist measurement on the back is slightly smaller than your <coughs> SNP to bust measurement. Sorry, let me let me say this again. It's uh, early on Sunday. So we use the side neck point to waist measurement on the front and the side neck point uh, to waist measurement on the back to control our bust expansion formula. So if you're let's say SMP to waist measurement on the back is smaller than the one on the front, then you will have this situation, okay? So the SMP to waist measurement is longer on the front, which means the waistline will be longer on the front of your block, and it will be shorter on the back of your block. As you can see here with Henrietta's block, this is a diagonal. Okay, you can see that diagonal. It's not horizontal. It's not horizontal on the 90 degree axis. This means that her back measurement is slightly longer than her front measurement. And what that does is essentially it prevents the sway back issue that we find when we have too much material here because we're actually constraining to the measurements of the actual body rather than using standard blocks. And a standard block will have the same SNP to waist value on the front and the same SNP to waist value on the back. Okay, so this essentially is correct. It's just to uh, prevent, let's say, any sway back issues and also to cater for a slightly larger bust or a smaller bust. So I hope that is uh, a little bit of an explanation of this question. Um, yeah, so as I said, we want to do a really interesting feature here. If you have any questions or if you want a little bit of help and support, then either email us in or comment on this page and we will try and answer your question. Uh, and yeah, if you have any comments, then obviously please uh, feel free to ask and we will also try and solve those as well. Thanks for watching.